Welcome back, this is Ink, and in today's problem, we're trying to find the voltage as a function of time. We're given V in, R T, R3, and R2, and the capacitor in parallel with R2, C2. We're given a hint, virtual short, and probably should look into the capacitor at T equals zero and T equal infinity. By virtual short, we know that we can assign the voltage at V plus, to V minus, which is equal to V in. This is because the voltage across R3 is the same because R3 is in parallel with V in. And therefore, if we wanted, we could take away this resistor to this. I think taking away that resistor will kind of show something, a little, show a little bit more about the circuit when the capacitor reaches its maximum voltage when it's fully charged. So we can always say that I plus is equal to I minus, which is zero amp. It's always good to put that down. Might not be useful in this problem, but it's still a useful thing to have down. We know that the after T equals zero, the capacitor will be fully charged. And when that happens, the circuit is in equilibrium or steady state and the cap is then we then see an open oh we then see an open circuit at the capacitor so the capacitor goes away so in this case the capacitor goes away and in here we see if we cut the capacitor out we see we have a normal non-inverting app amp configuration we then can find the voltage for the op amp when the capacitor has a voltage drop across it and it's open circuit. And that is going to equal to the voltage when the cap is fully charged. So we go ahead and say when the cap is, when there's an open circuit where the capacitor is, V out is equal to one RT divided by RT plus R2 over RT times V in. We know V in is one volts. So thus, V out is equal to 4.3 volt. We know that V out equals 4.3 volt will be the voltage when the capacitor is fully charged. We know we want the output voltage as a function of time. Thus, we can say that V out with respect to T is equal to V in, which is one volt it's fixed times E to T over RC, and that's R2, C2. And that is our output voltage as a function of time. And because we want, because the capacitor is charging, we're gonna leave that positive. We also could look at the fact if we didn't look at the circuit in equilibrium, we could then say that V out is equal to V in E TRC. We know that V out is equal to R2 plus RT divided by RT times V in, which you know V in is gonna cancel out. V in is on both sides. RC is R2, C2. We know that this is a, we know that the voltage gain for a non-inverting op amp is RT plus R2 divided by RT. Looking at that, we see that the voltage gain is 4.3. That is equal to T, equal E to the T, e, equal to E to T divided by tau. I should probably just use tau. Tau is R2 times C2. So divided by tau. We solve for T. We then get zero point, well, we can round that up and just say we have 48.13 milliseconds. So here, when T is 48.13 milliseconds, V out is at 
is at its maximum. We then can say, or look at this graphically by stating V out versus time. We know at T equals zero, one volts. We know the capacitor is charging. So we know that at T equals 48.13, milliseconds the voltage output voltage is going to be 4.3 volts and basically and that's it um, we don't need anything else we found the voltage as a function of time and what else we know that at t equals 48.13 milliseconds, the capacitor is going to be fully charged. And we know when the cap capacitor is fully charged, the capacitor becomes open circuit. And this was the reason why I took away the resistor R3 and now erased the capacitor. And by doing that, here you can see that we have a non-inverting amplifier at steady state. So that's it for this problem. See you next problem. Bye.